Street with Tony Shebeki. Uh, Jamie Winkup last weekend had a clean sweep on the streets of Townsville. The team Vodafone driver extending his championship lead with a stunning pair of drives across the weekend. The V8's uh, next on track in three weeks' time at Queensland Raceway. From a champion of the sport in Jamie Winkup to a young star on the rise, Chelsea Angelo is a name to watch in Australian motorsport. She's just made massive strides in Formula Ford recently and she joins us on the line now. Very good morning to you, Chelsea. Good morning. Oh, you only got your L plates uh, during the school holidays, didn't you? <laughs> so, yeah, I did. That's a great effort to be uh, driving as well as you're doing. You've been clocked up to 240 kilometres an hour in the wet and you're up at Canberra, I think, at the moment, on the CAMS scholarship at the AOS in Canberra. How's that all going? Oh, that went great. I just came back yesterday. It was absolutely fantastic. Uh, what do they get you doing? Do you go through all the, uh, all the fitness testing regime and all that sort of stuff? Yeah, we did. Throughout the week, we did a bit of psychology, like how to um, relax before a race. We did physical and mentally fit before a race. We also did a bit of a nutrition, like how what foods we should eat before a race and how to get our energy up. We even had uh, Shane Van Gisbergen's engineer come in and talk about all the data and how that all works. It was absolutely interesting. Now, at 15 years of age, I mean, how... How does all this sink into the brain? Does it uh, all get retained pretty well? Did you understand everything they were talking about? Yeah, absolutely. You know, since I do circuit racing, it actually fit in quite well. Beautiful. Now, to be selected as one of the country's rising motorsport stars for this CAM scholarship, what does that mean to you? Oh, it means, like, I know that I've achieved my goal and I've got up there so well, so I'm, actually, I'm really proud of myself and I know I can do so much better. And how helpful is that going to be for your progression through the sport? Oh, it's going to be so much help. Look, opportunities and doors are going to open for me. I'm just going to take them and we'll see how we go after that. Chelsea, take us through your career so far uh, and your rise through the ranks. Did you start with karting? Yeah, I started with karting. Um, what we did is that me and my father, we knew someone from karting and... We thought we'd go down, we watched them, and we said, oh, look, that looks pretty cool. So we joined the karting scene. Now, is it true that you asked your dad for a go-kart for your 11th birthday? Um, yeah, it actually is true. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Sorry, keep going. So we got into karting for the first year. We thought we'd just practice for the year and get our times down. And then that year we started off with club days. Then the, we moved up on to juniors and we started doing big open meetings like the Victorian State and we did some good qualifying polls, and we moved up into a Rotax class called J-Max, and that was going pretty well. Then by the end of the year, last year, we, there was an opportunity for a free test drive in a formal Ford. So we um, put our entry in and, went, and we got in. So we went for a test, and then one of the teams there, which is Evans Motorsport, were really proud of how I was driving, and then they signed us up then. And our plan for this year is to do a full year testing and see how I go with my times. Well, that's fantastic, Chelsea. And how did you find it? Uh, I presume you were probably one of the only few girls up at the OAS scholarship uh, over the last week. Yeah, there was me and I think four other girls and also Samantha Reid, which was good help. How did you find it mixing it with the guys? Look, it was, it was fine mixing it with the guys. You know, I'm not afraid to go up them and see what they're doing and stuff. So it's a good bond. Uh, being being a woman, I mean, do you think that that's going to help your chances of, of progressing through the sport? Obviously, there's a little bit of a, a difference factor, I suppose, a point of difference, the fact that uh, you're not just one of the guys. Yeah, look, it is a big difference. Like, as I said earlier on, more opportunities are going to open, but I've just got to stay focused and keep doing my best. Yeah, exactly right. As we said, 16 years of age, uh, what's your goal? Where would you like to race? V8 supercars, Formula One, NASCAR, what's... What's the ultimate goal for you? My goal at the moment is to become a successful female driver in motorsport, but I would love to go into the V8s and see how that goes. I've heard some people also say that you're uh, one of the best female talents in this country since Leanne Tander came onto the scene. Uh, have you met Leanne and has she given you any tips? 
Yeah, I met Leanne in my karting days and she's given me plenty of tips. Oh, fantastic. Heroes in the sport, Chelsea, who are they? Heroes, um, I've got three. I've got Samantha Reeves, she's number one. I've got Danica Patrick in the NASCAR and also Leanne Tander. And just a final one for you, you're a, a student at Warrandyte High School, year 10 there. I mean, how does that go with all the kids at school, the fact that you're a racing car driver? Uh, look, the kids at school are pretty amazed of what I do. I've had a couple of questions here and then, but we'll see what happens on Monday. Uh, Chelsea, fantastic stuff. Thank you so much for talking to us today. We really appreciate it and we look forward to following your career and who knows, one day maybe catching you on a Sunday morning after a V8 supercar win or something. Oh, yes, totally. <laughs> Good on you. Thanks for your time, Chelsea. Well done. Thank you for having me. Good on you. Chelsea Angelo there, 16-year-old out of Warrandyte, driving racing cars and from what we hear, doing it pretty well also. We're going to head to Sydney next where there's plenty of racing cars being driven at the moment too.